So I'm curious, what are some right. holistic strategies right. so for we managing wanna, that? We want to clean up our diet, first of all. We want to make sure that what we put in us is not going to be harmful to our microbiome. We want to acknowledge that it's there, an important part of our body system, our temple, that we need to maintain, right? So we've invited them in there from the moment we were born, and now we need to care for them. So we want to do anything we can to preserve that microbiome. Then the next thing is to feed them appropriately, right? So we do that. Now, when we have people that have suffered from anxiety and depression, oftentimes we'll try to determine whether or not their microbiome is off. Do they have the wrong complement of bacteria? Are they constipated? Are they eating poor foods that maybe cause, say, for example, leaky gut? Have you heard of that term before, Lance? Yeah, and I've heard it. Yeah, I'm at that age where I get hit by these advertising on every page that I go to in the news, and they always have these leaky gut and these pictures of parasites and all this other stuff. And it's like, what? They're hitting my target demographic because we got like a little more belly on us and it shows an older guy. Get rid of that fat. You know what I'm thinking? They're targeting getting me. Well, that's different. That's different entirely from like abdominal fat and things like that. Leaky gut is very simply the loss of integrity of the internal lining of the intestine. So normally the intestine is like a, a, a lumen. It's like a straw, right? A giant oversized straw that has a skin around it that is meant to be intact. Now, if dirty material waste is running through that tube and you have your blood system on the outside of the tube, well, imagine if there was a break in the integrity of that tube. Now you have a leaky gut.